Assalamu alaikum lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great wherever you are watching me. My name is Sue. If today is your first time. So beautiful people, today I'm going to be sharing how to make this tasty, delicious tomato stew. Okay. This is typical Muslim Zongo taste, you know, the original stew. This can serve as watches stew, tozafi stew, and all purpose. So I hope you like it, subscribe, and share. So let's get started. So I have here five thin diced tomato, okay? And each thing is 400 grams, and I'm using five. I have here 240 grams of tomato puree or paste, a teaspoon each of paprika powder, nutmeg, oregano, turmeric, and salt, a half tablespoon of black peppercorn, aniseed, and rosemary two scotch bonnet peppers two bay leaves one seasoning two bell peppers i have here also four onions three white and white red and the red i use just a quarter of it for oil i'll be using sunflower cooking oil and you can use any oil you have i also have four cloves of garlic one big sump, half ginger, about six pieces of dried shrimps, and six pieces of dried herrings. My choice of protein, I'm using one kilo meat. And I'm using four eggs, which is optional, some fried red snappers, and some fried wagashi or cheese. I'll be washing my vegetables. And I just sprinkle a bit of sodium bicarbonate on it. So this is done. I'll transfer it to my chopping board. And here I have already diced the ones I'm going to use to fry the stew. And left one onion for the seasoning of the meat. Okay. And I'm going to cut all into small small chunks for easy blending and I'll also be using one red bell peppers okay to season the or to steam the meat with so I have them all diced and I'm transferring them into the blender so here I'll be adding the black peppercorn aniseed and the rosemary to it okay and I'll be adding some water and then take them away to blend and here I'll be washing my meat um, which I didn't state earlier on this is goat meat and one kilo okay so I just sprinkle about a tablespoon of vinegar round down some water on it and then rinse it like two times okay so this is done I'll transfer it into my cooking pot and in the bigger pot i would already added my oil okay and then now I'm adding in the sliced onions okay then here onto the meat I'll be adding the blended ingredients this is it and I'm going to use just half of it Okay, so I'll stir them thoroughly to make sure the um, blended ingredient gets to enter everywhere for good marination. Then I'll be adding the rest of the spices on it. Okay, stir again. And these are the teaspoon each of the with turmeric, nutmeg and all. And with the salt as well so this is okay I would cover it and allow it to steam okay whilst I check on the other pot and here the onions have been frying gently for about five minutes now then I'll go ahead and add the tomato puree this is it I would stir it further okay make sure I have a unique or uniform mixture 
then I'll cover it and allow it to fry okay I'll come back to it after about five minutes by then the onions and the tomato puree are fried more okay a bit translucent then I will pour in the rest of the blended ingredients and keep stirring until they are well mixed together guys I'm so loving this pot believe me cooking with it it's so so easy okay don't think of your stew or your soup burning or anything so now I'm dropping in the two bay leaves stir again okay then I'll now cover it to fry for about five to ten minutes my love for this pot lately eh? hmm. every recipe now you'll be seeing more of it <laughs> so now I'll further stir it again you can see after five minutes the onions and the rest of the ingredients are fried so well and the aroma here and yakitoa so now i'll be adding in the thin diced tomato okay i'll add three of that and the rest of the two you'll see how i'm going to use it because i want my or the steel to stand out like the tomatoes vividly standing out but well fried and all just try this method and you know baba kibani and the uncle always sana no kwe you know feel money akwe mean fee bohu ke o try no o kwe o bana akashin no ni in real anu kwale ni today dear my god has really come so guys i'll cover it now and then allow it to fry whilst i do the other thing so here i'll be checking on the meat to see how tender it is okay and i'll taste again to see whether the salt is okay so now i'll add some more salt okay so make sure you add enough salt because enama nchini nimde oh oh rea say nkana chinama nda bagi shidi chikin kana jimbaka jindadi nshisa taste it and see if you need to add then you add okay so i'll cover it then here i'll be dicing or i'll be cutting the rest of the bell peppers into the blender and you have seen that i have opened the two diced tomatoes aside so this is what i'm going to use to blend with the dice or the chopped bell peppers the reason why i'm doing this is that i still want to have a smooth steel but also with the chunks of tomato in it okay so i just added the dried shrimps and the herrings and then i'm adding in the tomatoes i'll quickly blend it then come back to the frying steel okay so here I'll, i will stir it once more <laughs> I just want to carry you along with me. So now I'll be adding in the blended ingredients, okay? Stir again and then cover it to fry, okay, for about 10 to 15 minutes again. And then I'll come back to check the meat. By now, the meat is ready. So I'll just try to see how soft or tender it is i'll try to taste mm, guys the taste it no be small <laughs> so this is okay the fire is already off i'm putting it off i'll just separate it from the liquid and allow it to air up before i fry it okay yeah so here i'll be checking on the steel again by then i'm checking the under to see whether it has been but guys this pot is doing amazing to this recipe there is nothing like burning so now i'll be adding in the meat stock okay yeah 
the stock I separated from the meat. I will stir again and I will taste and see if the salt and the everything, the spices is okay. Then yeah, it's okay. So now I'll be adding the seasoning and I'm using vegetable seasoning. You can use shrimp seasoning or any seasoning that you have. Okay. I'll further stir it and then cover it to fry again for about 10 minutes. And here I'll be dropping in two fresh scotch bonnet pepper, which is optional. Okay. So here my oil is already heated. So I'll be adding in my meat. Okay. So we are going to be frying. Let the frying begin. <laughs> I'm lately kind of like Fauzius, <laughs> Fauzius speaking. So I will keep flipping it over to make sure all sides are well fried. Okay, so now the meat is ready. Just look at that, nicely fried. And the taste, you know, so and yet is a cry. And that for more, and yet no Just try it. Okay, so. <laughs> This is done. Then I come back to the steel. Okay, so you can see the steel is almost done. So now I'll be adding in my wagashi, that's the fried cheese. And I'll also be adding in the fried meat. Okay, so just a little water is left in the steel. So the water is going to soak the wagashi and the meat and it will make your steel taste so delicious. Okay, so after covering it for some few minutes on a low heat because the stew is already done guys just look at that just look at that look at the stew isn't it popping so now I'll be adding in the eggs these are already been boiled okay and then I'll add in the fried fish okay and for me I'll add the fried fish last or for the sake of this video if not I will just keep it aside whenever I want to use the steel then I add the fish to it because I don't want it to be peche like that just look at that so now I'm going to be enjoying this with what guess what guys guess 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 rice and some salad and the salad no is the homemade mayo and ketchup no nothing feels good like just enjoying your own homemade recipes guys just try it and leave your comments down in the comment section I hope you enjoy this recipe believe me if you try it you would come back to comment and I hope you enjoy yourselves don't forget to check out my smooth rice balls my own version of lagba and this fish is going to be uploading soon this chicken also thank you all and I'll see you next bye